China is not that negative as painted by some speakers. According to IMF, China is going to contribute over 34% of the world economic growth. So you will see that nasty guy is doing good things. That's really contradictory. And we have been working very hard with the European Union, and we believe the European Union and Europe at large are a very important continent and political force. It's an important position, an important part of a multilateralism. We would like to work with the European Union, and we would work uh, with the European countries in all areas. The world needs good relations between the United States and China. The harsh competition or conflicts between major powers are not consistent with the interests of the international community. And the world are concerned about the development of relations between the two big powers because that will affect the future of the world. The globe is so large, it's more than enough for USA and China to de develop either separately or join hand together. China would not provoke the United States, nor do we intend to replace number one superpower. We try to be successful, both USA and China. So we, we should see each other as opportunity, not as a threat. Now, some major countries, they treat themselves and treat other countries with different sets of double standards. That is very harmful. It's already resulting very dangerous consequences. So this is point number one. So people are talking about rule-based international order. So ask one question, don't be shy. What do you mean by rules? If you mean UN Charter, you mean conventions, international laws, we support you all. If you think the laws and regulations of your own making, sorry, we don't buy it. <laughs>